Okay, so what we're going to do is talk about plugins now uh, and WordPress. And there's something you've got to be really careful about with plugins, and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. But all your plugins, basically, as you install them or, or when you first uh, default, your, your def default installation will probably have two plugins, these two. Okay, these are installed automatically by my server. Um, but anyway, so <coughs> plugins like a Kismet, uh, you know, protect you from spam. But there are other great plugins like Contact Forms 7, uh, which is a good plugin. It's a little bit difficult to understand, uh, but there's a great premium plugin for contacts called Gravity Forms. And there's a whole host of other plugins, but you've got to be really careful about them because plugins uh, can make and break your website. Okay. Now, if a plugin isn't well supported, it's not updated on a regular basis. Well, you can find yourself getting into trouble with them. Pretty simple formula for, for for good plugins. So you go to WordPress and you can search for plugins. But here are some of my favourites here. Okay. So there's uh, these are ones I use probably on a regular basis. But you'll be able to see how well they're they're supported. And I'll show you a couple of my themes, uh, my plugins here, uh, as as examples. Okay. Um, so, so here we have uh, our Hangout Events, which allows you to pull in events from Google Plus and, um, and, and, and have them automatically uh, appear on your website directly from Google Plus. But you'll see over here, and this is where you want to look, what's the compatibility, when it was last updated, and how many users are using it, and maybe the star rating, which is not always accurate. You can get your own people to, to, to put stars in there. Okay, and then you look at the change log. How often do they update the plugin? Okay. When was it last updated is really important. If it hasn't been updated for a year, do not even think about it, okay? Um, and then you can look at the support forums and see what people are saying about the plugin, okay? Um, but basically, the, 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 the change log, uh, the statistics, not so much, but change log and support forum, and when the last updated date, okay? Because there's 100,000 plugins on the website, not, not that many. But most of them, and I'd say 99% of them, are rubbish and are going to ruin your website. So again, let's have a look at uh, ha have a look at my favourites. So some of the ones I, I suggest you install is WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, a broken link checker, not so important, but you can do that as well. Um, Google XML sitemaps a definite uh, one to install. Um, a Kismet comes uh, with it. Okay. Um, and then we look at other ones, like if you've got a Google account and you want to have your uh, all your articles uh, assigned to your publisher ID, definitely do that one. That's from Google. And there's some nice ones from WooThemes up there as well. Um, and uh, Link Manager, you, WordPress used to have links, uh, a link management system, but uh, they got rid of that and now that we use that. Um, but they're, they're, so out of all of these, the ones I install just about on every website are WordPress SEO by Yoast, I install my Google Hangout events, uh, one for, but you might not need that. Um, and X, Google XML sitemaps, and there's a, there's another plugin called Gravity Forms. Um, purchased, um, and I use it for my clients. It allows for some amazing customizations and works with a, a range of uh, different tools. Thirty nine dollars is money well spent as far as I'm concerned, um, and. Uh, for, for each for each client and it's it's a fantastic form management the best form management uh, software on the market uh, for WordPress so um, so that's basically um, how your plugins work and when you download a plugin it'll be in a zip file and you just click it and that upload it to there and then have a look at the uh, have a look at the installation file it's usually very simple where you just upload it uh, uh, activate the plugin and maybe some other settings uh, have a look in the facts in, and uh, stuff like that, but it's it's always pretty simple. Okay, so um, that's basically how you, how your plugins work. Don't overdo it with plugins. Critical that you don't overdo it. If it, a lot of the times you can do some of the things that plugins can do in your in your in your child theme. Okay, um, simple things like this. The, a lot of the social sharing plugins are full of junk that just that just ruin your website. Okay, so be very careful which ones you you do choose. We, we do all our social sharing for our posts and pages. We do actually it in the child theme. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot better and it doesn't require you to add a plugin. So keep the plugins, you, unless you've got some sort of massive business and, and stuff like that, you do not want more than 10 plugins. The more plugins you add, a lot of the plugins add a bit of code to the header and footer, the, more, the slower your site will become. So keep it to a minimum to the, to the things that you require, okay? 
All right, thank you.